Hello everyone, this is Chris with Secret Fab. I haven't been doing a lot of videos because I've been very strapped for time with the holiday season and something personal happening in our family. I've had to make a couple trips out to Iowa, but I'm back for a little while and today I'm kind of excited. I wanted to do an installation of a 21 off-road cup holder for the rear seats. Now, cup holders are a huge thing when you have this utility vehicle you go on long trips with it, you go off-roading. Having cup holders is an awesome thing. Our front bin allows you to cram two drinks in here or one really large bottle. Of course, you have the two factory spots right there. You can get this bin. You can put two more on the other side. With the 21 off-road rear bin, you can get something in here really nicely. I think I'm going to change out the molly to the bins because I don't have a lot of molly stuff and there's a number of other locations that you can put the molly. I like to keep the drinks uh, in the doors. Now we have the marine grade vinyl in the back. Some people with the leather seats have a fold down cup holder right here that gives you two cup holders. But let's say you have those as well and you have to use all three seats in this bench. You're going to have to find another place for those cups you can get these bins or you can even have another location here even if you don't have rear passengers you can reach back on long road trips put something in here as well now this cup holder basically holds normal size cans so we're talking about the 12 ounce cans or those 16 ounce cans but we will be coming out with a number of things and you can find these expanders uh, on various websites that will allow you to hold bigger objects in there. We just want to cover the basics, but the add-ons will cover huge amount of items. This one can even expand it into two because it folds out. So theoretically, if you do it right, you could get four cup holders back there. This bracket bolts up into where this trim piece uh, is hiding a bolt. There's another trim piece on the other side that's hiding a bolt. All we used was a screwdriver. You can use a small trim panel. You can put a little painter's tape around the outside if you're worried about scuffing this soft plastic. Also, if you do scuff that soft plastic, you can use a little heat and it'll change that really uh, light plastic color that's been scuffed into something that looks a little bit darker like that. When you're using a heat gun, try to use the least amount of heat as possible figure out how this material is going to react and then apply accordingly. But we want to use a 930 second socket to back these off after you get this little plate off and do it on the other side. Everything's going to be mirrored. So now let's put the bracket up to it and we will use the supplied bolts and this little extension to bolt it in. All right, so that proved to be a really easy install. You can see the slotted portion on this bracket I kept towards the bottom. Now there's that plastic spacer behind there, and then we have this Allen bolt right here. It comes with a little wrench, so I tighten that in there, not super duper tight, and then repeat it for the other side. The slots on this are very tight, so you will have to use some force to get them in there. That ensures that this won't come loose really easily. You have to be deliberate when you pull it out. And you can easily remove these and get your all weather mat or whatever floor mats you have in the back, back out to clean them. We haven't taken this mat out ourselves uh, at all. We've gone off roading quite a few times. We've just vacuumed and uh, whatnot because we haven't gotten really any mud in here. Just a bunch of sand for the most part. You can see how I said it basically only fits a uh, can in here. So even at the extreme, you're looking at not moving around too horribly much. So drink it down just a little bit and you shouldn't have any problems with that. Here's an extension uh, so you can get like a water bottle in and out of here. Uh, you could actually move this extension and we will carry it to the side. So it's just holding a sealed bottle so that won't fall out. And then you can put a can in here or you can put some Pringles or whatever you want. And then you could actually do that for the other side. Uh, this won't fall out either uh, because those slots are so tight. Just a real quick clip if you guys were wondering, if you remove the bracket, you can lower the rear seats. You can see there's no interference there at all. So check this out on our website, either 21offroad.com or stickerfab.com. 
Thanks a lot for watching this video. Please like it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not already. And hit that bell notification icon for the latest and greatest things we are coming out with for the 2021 and up Ford Bronco.